OCAA announces cancellations to the 2020-2021 winter varsity season due to the rising COVID cases in Ontario. Focusing on the impact that the pandemic has on varsity sports and how coaches will have to integrate different styles and approaches to coaching, here are five different skills coaches specifically will have to master moving into this unprecedented time. First recommendation for coaches is connecting with players in the virtual world. Coaches will need to have the ability to work with athletes through a virtual lens. They will have to change the way team bonding and team workouts occur to stay safe and follow protocols set out by the government bodies. Examples of these types of practices can consist of team Zoom calls, Google Meets, and other virtual ways to work as a collective group. Not all players may have the means to participate in a virtual world as athletes. Being aware that some players may not have phones or devices that allow them to download or have the ability to talk and text for unlimited amount of time is important. Ensuring that social economical accommodations are made for these players so that each and everyone has the ability to connect in the virtual world is vital to the success of connections for the players during the pandemic. Getting to know the players not just on the, on the court or the field, but who they are will lead to success. When looking at leaders in this field, Kajaya Campbell is right at the top. Leading, she is the manager of the grassroots basketball and events for the NBPA, and her quote on the virtual world of coaching is, creating a unique virtual experience is one of the new ways that we found success through the pandemic. Recommendation two is develop virtual assistants. Apps or exercise programs for players to follow while they are at home is key to maintaining their engagement in sports, as well as keeping them in shape. In this example, an athlete is working on their basketball dribbling skills while using an online app that gives them feedback. Coaches can't be everywhere at once, so apps such as this gives athletes immediate feedback that is essential for their development. During the early stages of the pandemic, our soccer team had Zoom meetings just to connect to each other. It also gave coaches the, the opportunity to explain the importance of the exercise program that was given to us. For varsity athletes, the pandemic meant a return to home, taking teammates hundreds of kilometers away from each other, training programs that could be done virtually on Zoom sessions as allowed players to stay connected and get some feedback even though they are far apart from each other. Using virtual assistants such as apps and communications, Devices will keep athletes engaged and help prevent health issues such as depression and anxiety that are associated with low physical activity. Recommendation 3. Develop quality coaching. As Gajaya Campbell states in her interview, hiring the right coaches to both represent the NBPA and to help coach and work with our youth. Our team's role is to be behind the scenes, so we are really strategic when it comes to hiring the right coaches and trainers to be an extended version of us. We can't physically work with every individual, so we trust the staff that we have out there with our participants on the court. Coaches are leaders both on and off the field of play for athletes and should be up to date with all sporting organization credentials and certifications. Coaches play an instrumental role for varsity athletes as they can guide them towards next steps, whether it be professional athlete or simply to have them perform to the best of their ability. Governing bodies such as the national and provincial sporting organizations like Canada Basketball, Ontario Basketball, or the OCAA have to promote and ensure that all coaches are at a level where they can provide the best and most accurate advice to all athletes. Coaching evaluations should be done every should be done by every organization and should involve an opportunity for all players to give their feedback. For me, the pandemic has had me realize the influence that my soccer coach of 10 years has had on my life. Having seen the same coach four to six times a week has come to a sudden stop was a major loss and major positive influence in my life. I didn't realize or perhaps I took it for granted. I'm looking forward to reconnecting to a coach once the pandemic is over. Recommendation four, focus on fundamental movements. Basketball Canada's return to sport guideline focus on, focuses on a variety of aspects with emphasis on player safety and skill development. With respect to safety, the guidelines outline that players, coaches, officials, support staff, and administrators 
will all play a crucial role in combating the spread of COVID-19, both on and off the court. Taking steps such as designated entrances and exits into the gymnasium ensure that all equipment is clean and disinfected as needed, and even steps like preventing speculators from entering the premises limits the exposure to all athletes and coaches. The focus on fundamental movement skills ensures that athletes now focus on their own development and areas where they need to improve, which varies from one athlete to another. For example, one athlete may focus on speed drills while another athlete may, may focus on ball mastery such as dribbling in soccer or basketball. As a soccer player entering our season this past spring, all of the players were at different fitness levels. As speed and agility were my strength, my coaches put together a stamina program for me that put more emphasis on workout runs that were longer in nature, while others had shorter sprint intervals that they had to focus on. My last recommendation is provide opportunities for everyone. Ensuring we provide a positive sports experience for all athletes, including athletes with sensory, intellectual, physical, and or behavioral disabilities has to be a priority. Coaching athletes with a disability is fundamentally no different than coaching any other athletes, but the key is making sure that we provide the opportunities and making them accessible to all. Establishing a safe and caring environment that is inclusive and of diversity and inclusion for LGBTQ athletes, athletes with Abr Aboriginal descent, as well as ensure that women are well represented as coaches and decision makers in organizations, as they play an important role for young female athletes, ensuring gender equity and inclusion. Varsity athletes are a small percentage of the student body, but providing opportunities such as intramural sports where there is no criteria and everyone is welcome is important to ensure equitable access of facilities and the promotion of well-being for the entire student body. In conclusion, the COVID-19 pandemic has impacted the sporting world dramatically, starting with sports at the grassroots level, moving up to varsity sports. Team training has moved to individualized programming where each player's fundamental movement skills and physical liter literacy are priorities instead of wins and losses in the standings. Coaches, communication with players is no longer just screaming instructions from the bench, but talking to their players virtually, and even using virtual tools where players can improve on their skills thanks to the feedback from an AI coach. What hasn't changed is what we need to make sure each athlete feels accepted and safe, physically, mentally, and socially, as well as the environment free of biases and stereotypes so that they can achieve their best both on and off the field.